to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Aaron Chalmers. Aaron, actually, before we start here, I seen Aaron the Joker Chalmers. Where's that came from? You sound like Kurt Walker here. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Obviously, he's money me with already, so I had to pull the Joker back out. You uh... couldn't just be Aaron Chalmers when you first employed find money me with us, so I just thought, right, I'm going to have to pull him back out of the closet. Where is this all came from? Because, like, not being funny, but you kind of you've had a lot going on in your personal life, and over the past year, you've been quiet in terms of the boxing front since you fought in your debut in June. Where's this came from? Let us just all I'm going to say is it's not what you know, it's who you know. So, so I'm just like, I knew someone from the money team, I knew someone who I was I spent the weekend with in Belgium a couple of years ago, and I was on a PA, looked after us, um, got on like a house on fire. I caught wind that he was um he was one of the guys who were booking it. So I sent him a message within a minutes I got him a text message, ring me ASAP. Now here we are, mate. So I feel like when you treat people well, it swings back around and this is exactly what's happened, you know what I mean? So it, it it's absolutely crazy because like you say, I've had a lot going on in my personal life and like last year was was terrible on on all fronts. Uh, so I feel like this is just a good start of the year. So I mean, it doesn't get much bigger, does it? Jesus it's, Christ! It's actually mad that you you've went about that yourself. So you have no team working on this for you. It was literally you sent them. I I, I I done it. I got I got it. I just caught wind that he he was the, he was the one. Um, and do you know what is, I, I had spoke to him even when I'm in Belgium. He, he was like, Oh, I'd love you to meet Floyd and stuff. And it was years ago, and I just thought, I have got nothing to lose with by sending this message. And within minutes, Aaron ring me ASAP, made the phone call, and it was just a whirlwind from the from Thursday, the first phone call to the Sunday, and the contract was there. And I was like, What what is going on here? But do you know what it is? I'm not being funny, Comrade. Even when I was low and everything was going against us, every day I would wake up and I'll be like, I am getting a big fight every single day. When everyone was like, nah, he's done. He's gonna, he's not going to box again. I just had it in my head. I was going to get a big fight. I didn't think it would be as big as Floyd Mayweather. But here we are. Do you know what I mean? I, like, it doesn't get much bigger. And I, I, like I say, I'm, I watched the Deji fight, him versus Deji. And, um, I th- well, listen, you can't bring anyone into sport. You can't bring someone to replicate Floyd. So all I'm going to have, I'm just going to work on is be as fit and as sharp as I possibly can, because I don't mind taking a smack. So I'll take a few smacks. Do you know what I mean? As long as that, as long as I can dish dish them out, like I don't mind taking a few digs. So I, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Whenever you think about the hardships and maybe the sacrifice that you've had in the past year, you know you had a, a new child born and different things going on and and things with your personal life. Is this all worth it now when you get a massive platform like this to showcase one your boxing talent and two kind of further your career now? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like I say, last year was terrible, and I, there was times, many a times, I just thought I'm just going to give up. Do you know what I mean? Like everything just seemed to be. To be fair, I started the year 2022. I thought this is my year. That's it. I was fit. I was I was healthy, and then I got the blood clot in the nose in in the March, which stalled the Sky Sports. Um, the, the debut, then it just, everything just never, nothing seemed to be picking up. I had the debut, then it was a setback date, and then it just, nothing, everything was just going against us, and like I say, the amount of times I nearly threw in the towel and thought, that's me done. But I just, I didn't know, there was something inside, just thinking, just keep going, you're going to get it, you just keep going, and I just thought, I've got nothing else on, so just keep going, do you know what I mean? And I did, and I kept, I kept going, and I kept going, and like I say, it's it eventually paid off, and like I say, obviously Floyd is a huge name, the biggest, one of the greatest boxers of all time. So getting in there with him is going to be such a surreal experience. And then it's what comes after that as well. Do you know what I mean? The doors opened, the doors, the the door, the floodgates are starting to open. Let's put it that way. So all the names who I was kind of thinking are probably going to be out of my league have now just come straight back in there. So 
like I say, I've always said I've got two years and I've got two years from now to make the absolute most and make as much as I can from from me from me and my family. Do you know what I mean? Me and my boys and that. So it starts in five weeks. What's the stipulations around this fight? How many rounds is it going to be? What weights are going to be at? What's the story there? So it is, I've agreed to 72. I know, mate. I know. So I have literally, I was training for a science to my, I was training for a Southpaw 80 kilogram for the last for the last three weeks. So I was eating four, four or five meals a day. Absolutely loving it. Signed the contract at 72. So literally I'm, uh, yeah, the diet. I mean, nutritionist has just been on the phone. So, um, We'll get it off. I've I've done it many a times before. Um, but then big five meals a day I've uh, I've been cut down already. So, and it's six to eight rounds. It's just an exhibition. But like I say, you're in there with one of the best ever. So it's going to be some experience. Well, will you have Adam Booth in your corner? Because I know there was that thing when you were in the booth, Jim. You were working with H. Charlie Adam. Now you're yeah. with Nick. Get us it. What what's the story there? Yeah, I'm a, well, Nick was in my corner for the debut, so I think it'll be the same corner. Mick, Nick, and the cup man. Um, Kurt Walker's looking the, the style, to be fair. Kurt Walker, uh, Kurt Walker, I think Kurt Walker wants to be involved, so I'm sure we're going to find him a place somewhere. I'm sure we can. Um, but I miss, that's it. Obviously, I've been on the phone Adam every day since. It's, um, Cornwall, it's been absolutely crazy, mate. Do you know what's mad? Like the December was quite a low part, a low time for me, and I, I had a handful of people. I was, I was, I was texting. Maybe fifteen people in the last three months I've spoke to. Then yesterday, I had three hundred plus WhatsApps. I need two tickets. I need this. I need that. I'm like, yeah, you didn't need two tickets when I was fighting eight weeks ago. Do you know what I mean? So, what's the change? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. My cousin said he said, watch everyone come out the woodwork, and it's true, but. I suppose I am fighting Floyd Mayweather, so I've just got to take the rough with the smooth. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's been crazy though. I can't, I physically can't keep up with my phone. I, I literally put it down. I come back, I've got fuck, five missed calls. I've got twenty messages. I'm like, what the fuck? You said that to me last night actually, because I was hassling you to get it. And at the very last night, you were like, "Man, my phone is just going off." So uh, oh, I my head was that. fried. My head was it, not fried, but I was just trying because I, I was trying to share people's story. I was trying to reply, saying thank you, and it was just getting. I couldn't, I physically couldn't keep up. I was refreshing it and it was just, log one was just shooting to the bottom. I was like, yeah, God, this is crazy. Back to the Geordie Shore debut. In terms of uh, the, the misfits, right? Does this kind of put you, uh, you onto that scene almost? Do you see yourself getting back onto the misfits boxing type of scene, fighting in those fights? I mean, there's names out there. Anthony Taylor will throw him at you. KSI had a pop at you today on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, no, what did he say? Do you think that that's, that's a possibility of these type of fights going forward? What did KSI say? He just he wrote major yawn to your announcement of you and Floyd. So, I mean... Uh, see, mate, I would smoke him. I would fucking smoke him. No danger. No danger whatsoever. Do you know what I mean? It's easy fighting two fights on one night when, when the kids have never boxed before. We can all do that. Major Yawn. Well, let's see Major Yawn when I, when, when I can get through Floyd. Let's see if he wants to take that then. We, 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 are those the type of fights that you want? So, KSI, Anthony Taylor, he's another one. Would you fight him? I, 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 Anthony Taylor, I would love to. Uh, Anthony Taylor. I, I like Anthony. I think he's funny. But he is an absolute mouthpiece. He just never, ever shuts up. I actually think you would keep talking when you're actually smashing him in the ring as well. Um, are, are, you, are you signed to uh, any promotional deal with anyone at the moment? What's your situation there for maybe promoters uh, that will? For, I'm free, me, mate, mate. Which I'm glad about because, like I say, with this, I was a free agent. Where I, did, I, I, I um, hadn't signed with no one. So I was literally, this come about, I didn't have to ask anyone. i just done it all off my own back. So when, when we post this video, will we see, see Mams Taylor and Callis Arland into it and say that I speak, you're a free well, agent? I speak, you know what it is? I, it's fair play. I, I was going to be I was gonna be fighting on the Misfits, um, but I spoke to Mams. I said I hadn't signed though. And I just said, look, um, as you know, there's a big opportunity. And he was like, listen, if you go and do what you've got to do. Um, spoke to Mams literally a couple of hours ago, uh, just asking him what the plan would be after. So we're just looking at, there's all loads of avenues, but now KSI said Major Yawn. There's a fight to make. Well, that's the one. And before I let you go, is Jake Paul the end goal for you? Because I remember we spoke probably about maybe a year and a half ago and you said to me, I want Jake Paul. That's the end goal. Is it still the end goal? 
100, you know what it is? Everyone says, ah, oh, he's Joe, this off Jordy Show, he's that off Jordy Show, but no one understands. I train my arse off and I've trained my arse off it, it, down in Adams, up in Newcastle. I train my arse off that no one sees just because I don't post it every day on Instagram and I'm not I'm not doing a video that every day I walk in the gym, every day I walk out. I graph my arse off daily, literally on a daily basis. So these fights, 100%, why, why would I say no? These are, these are fights that will set me up for the rest of my life. Tommy, KSI, Jake, there's free. Get them, and then I'm sailing off into the sunset. See you later. Well, big, big fat boy lying on the beach having drinking pints. <laughs> well, Aaron, look, I'll, I'll let you go because I know you want to go and watch Newcastle make their way to Wembley to play the great Manchester United. I'll be at that. <laughs> You'll be at that, and I'll be, I'll at, be at that. I've already, I've already said the cook, and I want to cover it for IFL, so I'll make sure I'm there. We'll uh, we'll catch up again soon, mate. And uh, thanks a million for your time. Appreciate no it. No worries. Thanks very much, Colin. I'm going to say something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.